Good, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another water hopping episode. We are here on another beautiful Saturday morning here at my buddy Gilly's private lake. We're here for a little while. We're gonna be hopping around a little bit during the week, and I might go to this different lake in two weeks to do some camping, but from here till spawn hits and starts gearing up and going, this is where I need to be to catch my big fish, and that's one of my huge, huge goals for this year is to break my personal best, just like many other bass fishermen out there. We want a big one, so I'm trying to crack six pounds this year. I think this is one of the few local places that can give it to me, so we are gonna be hitting this place hard and heavy for a little while here. So with that being said, guys, let's get into today's video let's start some fishing and I'll see you on the water oh yeah subscribe Anyways guys, launching the axe now. Any day now this lake is just gonna turn on. And I don't get to fish too often, so at least for the next few weeks, this is pretty much where I'm gonna be kayak fishing. I think I have a chance at a really big bass before the end of the spawn here. I'm thinking five, six pounders are in here commonly. One of my favorite moments coming up. One of my favorite moments about to be right now. Wait for it. Oh. Right there, that's it. That transfer from land to water. Fire up your old fish finder. We're on a Garmin fire display, by the way, guys. Picking up your, uh, what'd you pick up there? Here. Spinner bait? All right. I'm gonna kick it off with this header bait, folks. Old reliable for me. seven feet of water we're just we're trying to find them we're prepared to fish deep but just want to check out some of this drop off type areas where it's going from these shallow three foot areas dropping to seven to twelve feet kind of thing we're gonna just start here right now I'm sitting in eight foot water's a little stained a little bit of algae coming up <laughs> Yeah, whatever. As long as I, don't, I just won't fish for him with a Livingston anymore. Cotton Cordell all day. <laughs> Let's see what's going on up in the shallows. Probably nothing. I just haven't casted shallow yet this year. Maybe there's a chance there's a few fish just scooting around up here right now. Taking a peek. Thinking about how much fun they're going to have in this creek in a few weeks. Well, I'm casting upward into shallower water, so that's kind of why it seems like I'm bumping into a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, I got one. For real? Oh, heck yeah. Any decent? Are we about to play the northern game? Yeah. You need help or are you good? I think I got it. So I can just hold this like this? Yeah. Is it off? It came off. That's why I don't trust those things. Yeah. Hold it sideways. Beautiful, bud. All right, let her go. Woo, heck yeah, dude. Nice, on the board. Dude, that was instant when this thing hit the, I th threw the uh, crankbait back. Yeah. Good job, bud, on the board. I thought I was snagged. <laughs> it, it saw you like, bowl over. Oh. I was I was I was thinking I was just like oh my gosh if that's a bass we're about to just be on it but either way thumbs up let's go get another one buddy yes sir
Let's do some ledge fishing. Hit some ledges. <laughs> that gum it. We're gonna go hit some ledges. And the folks. thing is, there's fucking tons of big ass fish. We just gotta find them. I know. This is the part where I'll go. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring my trolling motor next time. All right, I'll t I might buy one then. I mean, we're definitely in the neighborhood of some fish here. No two ways about it. Big lump of bait. What depth is it? 11 feet. And it's all on the bottom, everything I've seen. Still only 50.6 degrees. We just need that thunder bite. The one that just like... Gilly has snagged himself a carp. Is it a big fish? Yeah, it's a decent size. Like how big? Have a good time with that. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to put the camera away and help you. I will. I mean, that looks like a pretty good fish. Yeah, that's a decent one. Ooh, love that sound. Dude, I mean, that's like an eight pound fish. Not even touching him, huh? Did he try to eat this thing? I don't know, that's what I wanna know. It's in the corner, it's like where it is, it's... Not one last go. Yep, one more. Get it, he's gonna go. I can see him tensing up. Get it, pull. Down. Mother f <laughs> got me all wet. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, I wonder if I snagged that thing or what, dude. Oh man, I don't know. So, good shit, buddy. Yes, sir. Gosh! Oh no, dude, that was like a 35 inch pike. <laughs> oh, what a rush. Oh. Man. Whoa, whoa. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm just reeling along calm as a cucumber. I can see my crankbait coming out of some grass like 10 feet in front of me. And then it just gets enveloped by like that. Wow, I saw it. It came out of the water. I saw it. Yeah, because I watched it go <laughs> on my crankbait like three times. And so I sat. And right when I sat is when it came up. He ate it right, right at the boat. You just did what? Well, something just happened. You got something behind you? What? Any behind you? Behind me? No, I meant was there a fish behind the bait coming in? Oh no, I didn't see it. I didn't see anything. Man, something hit it hard though. I saw you go. That's how you rip your drag. We are entering about the final 25, 30 minutes here. Trying to officially get on the board today. Gilly has caught two very cool fish today. And uh, I myself missed a, not a giant, but a good mid-low 30s pike. Hit right at the kayak right up in front here and didn't have the GoPro rolling at the time. And I don't think any of it's on video, but yeah, that's so that happened. And since then I've broke off on one had like one other bite and other than that now I kind of want to just a little bit of redemption I want to catch one more fish in a cotton cordell lipless crankbait so if it gets broken off it's not a huge deal so 
All right, guys, just got off the water. Not a long adventure today, not some crazy type thing, but just a quick outing. I really was trying to get on some fish in general today, and I was trying to mix things up. I threw around the Texas rig and actually got on a couple of bites near that creek channel there, so that actually had me really going there for a moment. But yeah, just a quick outing this morning, looking for some pike. Lost uh, mid 30s or low 30s pike right at the kayak. I watched it hit in that like clear water. That was like the craziest thing. Unfortunately, I didn't have the GoPro rolling at the time, so didn't get that captured on video, I don't think, just kind of the aftermath of after I missed it. But quick outing, just trying to make the most of the day. Now I'm gonna head home here and uh, take care of some Saturday chores, and then uh, probably gonna have a delicious dinner with the darling and uh, spend some good time with the family. So I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Some cool footage of Gilly catching that pike and that carp on the cannon there. Hit that thumbs up if you guys thought that was cool. I think that footage is probably gonna be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, not a spectacular day, but not a bad one either, guys. Just got out, enjoyed some nature, got to reset those uh, fluid, that blood, you know, just get everything going again get back on the water that was the just main thing just getting on the water i love it i love it i can't get enough of it and uh hope you guys enjoy it so hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and stay tuned guys as always keep water out i'll see you soon